Jazz Monkey here, everybody. What's going on? Got some Call of Duty 4 action for you and tons and tons of stuff to talk about this video. So let me just jump right into it. And I've been playing some Call of Duty 4 lately. You know, I've been playing a lot of Medal of Honor, playing a lot of Modern Warfare 2. Figured I'd switch it up with some Call of Duty 4. And boy, the P90 in this game is such a beast gun to use. And it's kind of funny because the actual mechanics of the gun are almost the same, if not identical, in this game versus Modern Warfare 2. I mean, just the feel of it, the rate of fire, the amount of damage it does, the amount of recoil it has, very, very, very similar. But in a relative sense, the gun really is not very good in Modern Warfare 2, whereas in Call of Duty 4, it absolutely owns. And it's just because the different gameplay in Modern Warfare 2, it's a lot more about explosives in that game. And, you know, there are a lot more guns in Modern Warfare 2 that can hit you quickly with one or two shots from a distance, you know, from a real far distance. So the P90 isn't quite as effective, uh, you know, in that relative sense. But I'll tell you what, in Call of Duty 4, it is really my go-to gun in a lot of situations. And, you know, just really had a lot of fun with it and free-for-all this game when it wound up going 25-1. and So, yeah, not too bad. Figured I'd upload this. But... In the future, my videos, I'm hoping, are going to show a significant improvement in video quality, and that is the result of the fact that I just ordered the new iLife 11. And as part of iLife, you get the new iMovie, and I watched the trailer for the new iMovie, and that was really the deciding factor in terms of whether I was going to purchase the new iLife package or not. And it looks really, really great. I mean, there's a new sort of wizard in there for if you're designing uh, sort of Hollywood trailer type of videos and there are a lot of new effects and just stuff that it's really going to improve the production quality and one of the things that I was a little bit worried about was the level of customization in the new iLife and iMovie and whatnot and you know I was a little bit worried if they only had a few new effects then everybody would be using them and so that you would see a lot of videos that you could tell were made with iMovie and you know, stuff that just looks similar, but I don't think that's going to be the case, and so that's why I decided to buy it, is it looks like there's a lot of new stuff and a lot of new effects, and really a, just a good amount of time was put into making this new software, so I'm really excited to get it. I ordered it, should be here in probably about a week, so maybe not the next video I do, but the one after that should have uh, some new effects and just some new stuff from me testing out the new iMovie, but... Anyway, the other thing I want to talk about is the video I did with Robert Bowling. And that video, I was really excited about it, really t glad in how that turned out. You know, it was for a good cause, and thank you so much to everyone who donated to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. You guys really did make a difference, so I appreciate that. Unfortunately, there were a few of you who I was kind of disappointed with. Some people decided that they were not going to do their homework. Um, despite the fact that I made a video showing the Twitter conversation between myself and Robert Bowling, some people not only didn't watch the video, but also didn't take the time to check Robert Bowling's Twitter. Uh, you know, stuff like that takes 30 seconds, but instead of doing that, they just posted fake or fake and unsubbing, something like that, and that's not acceptable. I'm sorry, but if you do that, if you don't check before you post something and you deliberately try and post something negative on a video that I spent a lot of time on, then you will lose your privilege to post on my videos in the future. Uh, if, if that happens, if that's you, then you will get blocked, and you're still welcome to watch my videos, but not post on them. And I'm sorry to have to do that, but really, guys, it takes 30 seconds to fact check before you make a comment. So if you're not willing to spend that 30 seconds to fact check, then you're going to lose your privileges to post on my videos. So sorry about that, but that's just the way it goes. And the another positive that came out of that video, though, was afterwards I talked to ZH1NT0, who is Daniel. His, uh, his position is the community manager for DICE. And what that means is he manages all of the Medal of Honor stuff, all the Battlefield stuff. Everything that DICE makes, he is the community manager for that studio. And let me tell you, he's a really, really nice guy. I know a lot of you are hardcore Call of Duty fans, so you may not play Battlefield or any DICE games very much, but I would definitely suggest it because uh, so far I've been having a ton of fun with Medal of Honor, and Battlefield is a great game as well. So when I talked to him, what we decided is when the new Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam comes out, we are going to do a video similar to what I did with Robert Bowling. 
But uh, even better, actually, because he has agreed to not only play a couple games with me, but also do a real interview. So if you guys have any questions that you would like me to ask him about the new Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam, send them to me in a message or post them as a comment on this video, and I will do my best to ask him your question. So I thought that was pretty cool. Really looking forward to doing that. Um, I'm not sure exactly when that's going to happen because there's not a release date yet for Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam, but it should be out sometime this winter. So that's something to look forward to, and hopefully that'll be within the next month or so. Uh, not sure exactly when, but definitely before the new year, for sure. And one of the other big things that I wanted to talk about was the new apps that I've I'm been coming out with. So a lot of you maybe only know me on YouTube, but I also do software development. So something that uh, you want to check out is the new apps that I'm coming out with. And one of the other things is I was sent a really cool message by one of my subscribers with a lot of new info about Black Ops. And one of the things you'll see is a prestige symbol. So let me pause the gameplay right now. Game's over anyway. Check out this prestige symbol. Yep, that is, I believe, the 14th, but I'm not really sure exactly which prestige symbol it is. But anyway, that was sent to me by a user. A lot of new info in Black about Black Ops as well. I'll put some of it in the description. But also, here, take a look at uh, some of my apps, because I'd like to give away some codes for that stuff. So there are two different ways that you can win a free download code from one of my iPhone and iPod Touch apps. One is I will just be giving away several codes at the end of this video. Uh, those are just going to be taken up immediately, though, I'm sure, within the first you know little bit of the video getting posted. So if you're not one of the first few people to watch this video, don't worry. You can still win some free codes, too. All you have to do is subscribe to both of my channels, youtube.com slash brassmonkey and youtube.com slash monkeynation. I will put links, you can click the screen now for Brass Monkey, and you can click the screen now for Monkey Nation. Links will be in the description for both of those. Subscribe to both those channels, then come back to this video, post a comment on the video saying what your all-time favorite Halloween costume would be. I mean, what would be the most ridiculous thing that you think uh, someone could be for Halloween? Preferably something funny. If I like the comment, if I like your idea, then I will message you with a free download code for one of my iPhone and iPod Touch apps. And so if you don't know very much about my apps, then let me show you a couple screenshots. So first up is Modern, or MW2 Ultimate Utility. This app is for Modern Warfare 2, and it is a great strategy guide. It's got a lot of info in here, tons of stuff about all the different guns, all the perks, all the kill streaks, everything in terms of reference, but also it has a lot of strategy info as well. So if you'd like some tips and tricks and really just a good app to help you with your MW2 gameplay, then MW2 UU Pro is for you. And uh, there's also a less expensive version of it out there, uh, just the regular MW2. But the codes that I'll be giving away are for the Pro version. So uh, next up on the list is MW2 Genie. This is a really cool app. There's nothing else like it in the App Store at all. This app allows you to create a custom class for Modern Warfare 2 and then the genie will rank it for you. He will tell you how effective your class is for certain game types such as core, hardcore, and search and destroy. And so you build your custom class. You pick a primary weapon, secondary weapon, attachment for your primary, and three perks. And then ask the genie to rate your class for you. He will give you a little bit of feedback in terms of text as well, but also a 0 to 10 scale rating for how your class is in each of those three different game types. So... Next up on the list is my Black Ops app, and what you are viewing is actually an update that has not yet been approved by Apple. Uh, the current app, the current version of the app, uh, does not have quite as much as featured in this upgrade. Um, but hopefully, within the next week or two of this video coming out, there this update will be out. And I'm also continuing to work on this app full time, so there are going to be lots and lots of new things coming out for uh, my Black Ops app. There's just so much that I'd like to uh, get into this app. Tons of new features, high res in images, um, just uh, so much has changed in this app. I don't want to give away everything because it's not all approved yet and in the App Store, but really tons and tons of new stuff. And it, this is going to be a killer app. So going to give you guys a couple of free download codes for that one as well. So go ahead and uh, check out the end of this video. Here's some free download codes for you guys. 
congrats to those of you who get them. And uh, thanks a lot for watching my videos. All right, guys. See ya.